In this video we will fix api-ms-win-go-wow64.ddl is missing. So let's begin. So to solve the error of wow64.dll file missing in windows what we have to do is just go in the description and there will be a link just go and click on that and you will be redirected on this page that is dll-files.com and here the heading says download api ms win core wow64.dll so just go and scroll down below and here we have the download section and you have to download the middle one file that is 32 bit with this version just go and click on download this file will work for both 32 bit systems and 64 bit systems as well so the download will start in few seconds meanwhile we have to make sure that what kind of system we have is it 32 bit or is it 64 bit for that just go to your this PC here click on properties and again the system type we can see that what kind of system we have so we have 64 bit operating system with a 64 bit processor so just go and close that and open your download folder where we have recently downloaded the DLL file so here we have the DLL file just go and extract that extract to just go and click on OK so here we have the extracted file just go and open the folder copy the DLL files just go and right click it and click on copy now go to this PC go, go to local disk C and here go to Windows first we will solve the error for 32 bit system for that just scroll down below and search for system 32 so here we have system32 folder just go and open that and paste the file here replace continue go back so we have done and uh, solved the error for 32 bit systems now we would solve the error for 64 bit system for that just scroll down below and search for sys wow 64 so here we have sys wow 64 just go and open that and paste the dll file here too replace the file click continue now go back and again go to system 32 and paste the file here so we have solved the error for 64 bit system I will make clear that for 32 bit system we have to paste the file only in system 32 when it comes to 64 bit system we have paste we have to paste the DLL file both in system32 as well as syswow64 so hope the problem will be solved if you still have any issue you can comment below I will try to answer that but before you go please subscribe like and share thank you